Halloween is coming up. Unfortunately, I suck at making costumes. So instead, I am going to build a big face box, a contraption invented by a Japanese fellow named Yuji Hayachi, which I met earlier this year at Maker Fair. I thought his idea was very whimsical and I've been looking for an excuse to build one ever since. And the beauty of this is that you require very little to do it. The main ingredient is a funnel lens of the correct dimension, dimensions and correct focal length. This, was, this one is a half meter focal length, 510 millimeter. A stripe of LEDs. And the LEDs need not to be that powerful, uh, but they need to be the yellowish kind or your face will look all blue. So that's the one I have. This is 3000 Kelvin called warm white and a source of 12 volts. I, I took a rechargeable one. Uh, that's Amazon Amazon uh, that came from AliExpress. So you'll, you'll recognize the type of lens that was used in, uh, if you have been around long enough, in slide projectors from a long while ago. And this is from, uh, this is the dapper invention from uh, Augustin Fresnel, uh, who managed to invent how to make a very flat lens. Uh, what he wanted to do is solve the problem of lighthouses and make lenses, very large lenses, uh, smaller and lighter weight. Augustin Fresnel, born in 1788, was a physicist and engineering genius. Known for having advanced the wave theory of light and having correctly explained the phenomenon of polarization and birefringence for the first time. And he is a revered alumni of the same venerable school I studied at in France, l'école polytechnique. And on top of that, I studied optics. So he is of course a big science hero of mine. But he was also a gifted civil engineer with a very practical side. He wanted to improve the lenses used in lighthouses. To form a parallel beam from a light source, a large heavy lens is necessary. Fresnel reasoned that most of the glass could be avoided by using just the curved surface of the lens, cutting it up and reassembling the bits into a mostly flat lens. It is an approximation of a lens, of course, but a very good one for non-critical imaging applications, such as collimating or concentrating light. The Fresnel lenses pop up in lighthouses, stage lights, and even in my iMac LCD screen as a light concentrating element. Jumping ahead, here's a little fun experiment showing how good these lenses really are. French invention? Yeah, by Mr. Fresnel. And you can see how it's doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there's a flame! I thought the first insect would be behind the water. Can you hold it? Yeah, yeah. Can you hold it? I want to film it. It's, it's burning. On, it's, it's on fire. Where's, wow. our fire. where's our extinguisher? I have one in my van. So it really works that well. Can generate, that can generate a lot. Yeah, of I've been way. trying my whole childhood to, you know, make fire using a magnifier. But I never had a good Fresnel lens like this. Look at that. It's yeah. burning. That worked quite well, did it? Yeah, that it just doesn't work well. experiment to generate heat or... No, no, the, uh, I'll, I'll rebuild it. I'll come in a minute. It's a, it's a big head box. So if you, you put it on your head and it makes your head big. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> My first issue is that the lens is taller than the box. This is 400 millimeter. The box is 325. So I need to cut uh, a little bit of the lens, uh, but in equal way. So it, it remains uh, centered. This is very hard plastic and acrylic, which is proving somewhat difficult. Okay, I wasn't make, making much progress on the with, with the cutter, so I think I'm going to dremel it instead. By the way, if you didn't know, that that's uh, the proven historical fact. That's that's the way they build the pyramids with with a dremel. 
Everybody knows that. All right. Hail to the Dremel. Tool of all situations. So now comes time to do the lighting and these little strips are amazing, they are series parallel arrangements. So you basically can cut them anywhere and it stays 12 volts. And they have, uh, you can choose them, I chose this one to have some backing that's sticky. Actually, okay. Yeah, you can tell it's going to give a nice illumination on the face, which is somewhere here. So now I have to put the lens on. Theoretically, in Fresnel lenses, there is a direction. Uh, the collimated side, which is a parallel side with the ridges, so this way, and the flat side goes this way. So the correct optical direction gives less aberrations, I can see it, but for this application I might choose just the practical direction, which is this one where you can wipe it off really easily because it's, it's a flat surface here. So I'll do, this is just regular scotch tape, I don't know if that's going to be strong enough, but let's see how well that goes. Okay. Seems to work. So the only thing that I have to do is to um, clean up this, but I, you know, I might just keep this arrangement. This is so simple. So very convenient to get the back with that tab. Uh, so that's so good. So it provides me some reasonable mechanical support. So I'll, all I need to do really is to wrap some tape around this. Okay. Well, I think this is going to resist children. The contraption is complete. Let's see if the weight is a problem. Not at all. Okay. So it's centered at the back. Not an issue. See, good. This way. Over here. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm recording. Look at this clown. <laughs> I have to say, this is genius. I'm proud.